Well, well, well. This is something totally new, random, maybe weird for this channel. But, you know, I do love my wrestling. And so I want to play this game that I love very much called Journey of Wrestling out on Steam right now. So you should probably go get it on Steam. I currently play on a Mac. It's not available currently on Mac. So have to play it on the browser still. But nonetheless, it is still a great game. Like I said, make sure to go get it on Steam. It is an amazing game. And, uh, well, I love playing it so much that I want to play a little bit of it here on YouTube. Now that the game is on Steam, I say we got to make this game as popular as possible because it is truly an amazing game. Um, if you love booking, if you love simulating, if you just love wrestling and just love having, just love doing like your own creative imagination with booking and stuff like that, this is perfect for you. Definitely perfect for me for those reasons. So anyways, this save is going to be with TNA current day. Uh, the current scenario or save that I'm using on this is called Modern Wrestling. It has like 20 different companies or something like that. And there's so many different companies from around the world that are in this and I want to use TNA. Um, I don't want to use any of like the super big promotions like New Japan and AEW or WWE. Um, and I don't want to do anything too small, maybe like an NWA or something like that. So I'm going to be using TNA. For those that don't know, uh, TNA has been called Impact for quite a few years now. And then it was only this year that they rebranded back to TNA. And so, you know, people have been taking more notice of TNA in the wrestling world. And um, I was I was for a little bit. I kind of fell off of it, but I do keep up with a little bit of what's going on there. And so, yeah, I've been wanting to do a modern day TNA save just because I feel like it'd be really cool to take TNA back to when it was, you know, at its best, at its peak, at its hottest. So we're going to be trying to do that here on Journey of Wrestling. You know, I'll see if I can do it or not. I might not, but... Who knows? But so we gotta look at a few things here. Uh, so first of all, a training roster call up. So these are all the people, well, these aren't all the people, but these are just a few people that are on our training roster currently. Sheldon Jean, I know, has actually wrestled on TV and he's actually gonna be featured in my wrestling and reality TV series that I have here. Um, he was on Big Brother Canada. He hasn't really done anything in a while because Kenny King left TNA and he was teaming up with him, but um, Jackson Stone, be honest, don't know who he is. And then Alex Garcia, um, I know her name. I know who she is. I've just never really seen her wrestle. And I don't have to call up anybody, but I'll call up Sheldon Jean. Why not? Because he's actually been on TV and stuff. And then here are our messages. Um, these are really just a bunch of like introductory messages, just a bunch of introductory information, stuff that I don't really care that much about. I know all of that. Um, and this is on sandbox mode. So I do have like my coins all maxed out. I have all of the different artifacts already installed and stuff like that. You know, it's just, just a bit easier for me. I, my creativity and imagination is a bit too much, so I don't want anything at least too restrictive, but I do want to set some restrictions for myself. I don't want to make all of the free agents in this available, you know, so... Um, but so we have some part-timers here. All these people here are part-timers, so they're only available for this amount of matches, so that's fine. I don't know if we're really going to be using a lot of these people anyways, so yeah. But here's our whole roster. So currently our champions are Moose, Jordan Grace, Mustafa Ali, uh, Eddie Edwards and Brian Myers of the system, Maja Slamovich and Alicia Edwards also of the system, and then AJ Francis, the digital media champion who just won actually the day before I'm recording this right now. And then um, here's our whole roster. We have a pretty big roster, um, a couple main eventers, a lot of upper mid carters, a lot of people uh, that I'm looking at to potentially push and to really make something out of. Um, and then here's all, all of the lower mid carters. Uh, there's a lot of people. And then we actually have no uh, jobbers here. Okay. Um, and here are our managers. Here are all of our tag teams. Um, and then our trios. This is this is the whole training roster right here. And then here are all the retired people. And yeah, that is the whole roster. And like I said, there are a lot of companies. Actually, this is probably a better way of looking at it. WWE, AEW, New Japan, Noah, Triple A, Stardom, CML, Us, Dragon Gate, uh, TJPW, DDP, DDT, <laughs> DDP, great wrestler, but no. All Japan, GCW, uh, WXW. Marigold, uh, DPW Prestige, WCP, uh, MLW, Rev Pro, NWA, and Defy Progress. So there are a lot of companies that we are going to be competing with in this. I think we can get the job done. But how 
are we going to book this first pay-per-view monthly event that we have against all odds well i'm gonna be doing absolutely nothing um i like to make every save that i have something a little bit different i like to have something distinguishing all of them so i want to do something a little different here something i've actually never done on a save before but only for the first event i want to have the auto booker just completely book the entire show do everything randomly i'm not going to be doing anything i'm going to simulate all the results as well so whatever happens happens and then from then on is when i'm going to book everything else so it's up to the auto booker to decide how the next few weeks of this save is going to go. And I'm just going to have to use my own creativity to build off of what the auto booker does. So I think that's going to be pretty fun because um, currently I really have no ideas for what I'm actually going to be doing in terms of rivalries or feuds or anything like that. So the auto booker is going to help me in figuring out what direction I'm going to be going in. So, I mean, titles could change already at the first event. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So... Let's do this. And then um, there's a max of 14. Um, I say we go at the max if possible. Use up every space possible. And then, you know, we can go with terrible booking if we really want to be like TNA. Uh, we can do bizarro booking if we really want to be like TNA. We can do long term booking, which would probably help with, you know, story building and stuff like that. Standard, which and I'm guessing is normal. And then quality if we actually want stuff that's going to be like good. There's a part of me that really wants to do like bizarro or terrible um, <laughs> just because I think it'd be fun. Um, we're going to go bizarro. Why not? Let's let's have a little fun here and make this truly chaotic because um, that is how I book on Journey of Wrestling. I like things to be completely chaotic, completely crazy. I just like doing really weird and random stuff, you know, so without further ado, let's see what this bizarro booking of the first ever, well, not the first ever, but you know, the first ever in this save monthly event against all odds is like, okay, um, I might include a segment in here actually, since we have one thing left. Um, but here is everything that's been booked. So Santina Morella versus Dirty Dango, Little Guido versus Mike Bailey in a, in a feud. Okay. The VOD villains versus the Batiri, Josh Alexander versus Trey Miguel, Tommy Dreamer versus Jai Vidal versus Trent Seven, Eddie Edwards versus Grado versus Brian Myers versus Steve Macklin versus Matt Hardy versus Rich Swan versus Ace Austin versus Joe Hendry versus Rhino. How many people is that? In the nine way match. Crazy. All right, fair enough. Um, actually, let's make this. Never mind. I was gonna make that an elimination match. Um, that's gonna have to. That's gonna have to be a match that I'll add. But you know what? Never mind. I just added it right now. Elimination match, right there. Uh, Giselle Shaw versus Taylor Wilde. Zion Brookside versus Ash by Elegance. Mustafa Ali defends the X Division title against Laredo Kid, who just lost the Digital Media Champion, so he could become a champion again. Marty Bell versus Savannah Evans in an Iron Man match. Jordan Grace versus Gail Kim. Patriotism. I mean. Okay, no. After investigation, Gil Kim is Canadian. I completely forgot about that, so patriotism makes sense. And then Masha Slimovich and Alicia Edwards versus Decay for the Knockouts Tag Team Titles. And then Moose versus Zachary Wentz with PCO as special guest referee. Okay, then. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to add a segment here just because we do have a main eventer who is not on the card. And if you don't know, um, if your main eventers aren't on the monthly events, they're not happy. So we do have a lot of still really good people that are not doing anything. So who? Nick Nemeth, Sammy Callahan, Santana, Gresham, Kazarian, Chris Bay, Jake something. I mean, let's just put a couple people in a segment really quick. I don't know. They can all do a, a promo. <laughs> and then we do have producers as well that can help boost... Um, the quality of these segments so that, that way they don't they don't totally bomb but yeah this is our card so we're gonna find out if we're gonna have new x division champion new knockouts champion new knockouts tag team champion new world champion i mean we could see zachary wins and become the world champion right here who knows but um actually wait this is also weird because this is heel versus heel right yeah okay then well listen like i said i wanted it to be bizarro and we got Bizarro, I think. I mean, we have an Iron Man match between two heels. Again, we have another heel versus heel thing. Zion Brookside versus Ash by Elegance. I mean, that's been something that's been booked like four weeks in a row on TNA, I'm pretty sure I've seen. Uh, we have another feud here too between Little Guido and Mike Bailey. So we could probably get something between Speedball Mountain and 
uh, the FBI, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, okay. Without further ado, let's just get into this event and see what happens. So this is our poster. What are the predictions? I just want to see. So Santino wins, Mike Bailey wins, Von Villains win, Trey Miguel, Trent Seven, Joe Hendry wins. Um, that would be cool. Taylor Wilde wins, Ash by Elegance, Mustafa Ali. Don't care? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. People making the predictions literally just do not care about this match. I mean, it's an Iron Man match. You gotta care. They're predicting Gail Kim wins the title and then all of them retain. Um, I also didn't realize this, but we can also do the system versus uh, the Rascals, but then again, it's yours heel, so. But whatever, we're gonna figure it out. So starting off with a promo between all of these guys. It's a great, great segment, sweet. And yeah, like I said, for the rest of the card, because it's all bizarro, because it's all random, because it was all auto-booked, I'm also just gonna simulate everything. So whoever wins, wins, it's not up to me, at least just for this first event, just to kick things off. Dirty Dango actually defeats Santino Morella. Um, that is definitely an upset, but okay, fair enough. Uh, little Guido, Mike Bailey, Mike Bailey wins. I think uh, we kind of expected that to happen. The Vaudeville versus Batiri, I really don't know anything about these two people. I don't even know if they're actually even on like TNA like properly or anything like that and then VOD villains um I know Simon Gotch was there for like that one match and then uh Matthew Werewolf commentates so this is kind of weird but fair enough VOD villains win I think that makes sense Josh Alexander versus Trey Miguel that sounds like a great match and it was a great match Josh Alexander continues to rise this is just an absolutely cursed match honestly as long as Tommy Dreamer doesn't win I'm cool but of course he does win. That's no offense to Tommy Dreamer, it's just he's super old, you know? Uh, we have an elimination match here, nine way, and the winner is Ace Austin, okay? That's actually really interesting. And then this is actually something I really like to do with like elimination matches and battle royales is use the eliminations as story beats or setup for future matches. So Rich Swan eliminated Brian Myers. Grado got an elimination against Rich Swan, and then Eddie eliminated Grado. Steve Macklin eliminated Joe Hendry. Eddie Edwards eliminated Rhino, Matt Hardy, and Steve Macklin, and then Ace Austin stole it from Eddie Edwards. So Ace Austin probably has to be in line for a title shot. Which title though? Um, who knows? We'll have to figure that out. Um, but yeah, we can definitely set up some stuff with all these. I mean, Eddie Edwards got four eliminations, so he definitely also has to be in line for some sort of title opportunity as well. Not to mention Rich Swan and Ace Austin both eliminating one half each of the current tag team champions, so that can also be something that we should look into as well. Uh, Giselle Shaw versus Taylor Wilde. Um, Giselle Shaw wins in different crowd, damn. Uh, I really do like both of them though, so... We'll figure it out. Zion Brookside versus Ash by Elegance. Ash by Elegance wins that. No story. All right, fair enough. Um, Safa Lee defends against Laredo Kid, and Laredo Kid is the new X Division champion. Wow. Okay. I mean, listen. I said that completely random stuff like that could happen here by just simulating this, and now we have a new X Division champion right off the rip. Laredo Kid. See, look at that. You lost the Digital Media Championship, but you won the X Division Championship. So, you know, it's all good. All right. Marty Bell versus Savannah Evans. This is completely random, but Savannah Evans does win that. Yeah, this feud is not off to a great start, but it's fine. Joan Grace versus Gail Kim. Joan Grace does retain her title. Fair enough. Masha Slamovich and Alicia Edwards versus Decay. They retain the titles. Yeah, that's fair enough. And here we go. Main event. PCO is special guest referee for this. Um, I'm not sure how he even got involved in this. Not even sure how Zachary Wentz even got this title opportunity. But, you know, the auto booker will auto book. Yeah, this would be really interesting if uh, Moose somehow lost this. But I do think he's going to retain. But let's find out what really happens. Oh my god god well there you have it we have a new world champion right off the bat zachary wentz of the rascals is the new tna world champion i think pco had something to do with that but holy crap okay yeah no masava lee and moose they can be upset and they can be pissed as much as they want but this is what i wanted i wanted chaos i wanted that's what i wanted i wanted absolute chaos and mayhem to occur so yeah what a great start to this already so that is against all odds and here's the thing about all the other companies but 
cares about the other companies, right? We didn't lose a couple fans, but I mean, four star, four star pay per view. We got 10k buys. Not all bad. Zachary Wentz wants a solo promo segment. I mean, dude, you're the new world champion. You're gonna get what you want. Oh yes. And then the indies, all the people that are currently available. Salvio Vega. Just saying, we could do that. One appearance. And yeah, and there are just a ton of people, a ton of people that we could look into signing. I mean, there's a lot. Look at how many people there are. And there are a lot of people that we could sign. People that have just been released from WWE and AEW. A lot of really popular indie acts that haven't been signed anywhere in real life. So we have a lot of options here, but um, I don't want to do anything with that right now. Um, I want to keep the roster I have, especially because we have a lot of people in the roster. So we'll figure all that out. And actually, I forgot, I should have changed this to four shows instead of, actually, let me get rid of that. <sighs> I should have changed it to four, but we're going to have to do, we're going to have to deal with two shows for now before Slammiversary, which is basically TNA's biggest event. But, oh well, like I said, we're going full bizarro, full chaos here. So that's going to wrap up this first episode of the TNA save on Journey of Wrestling on this channel. If you've stuck through the whole thing, thank you so much for watching this. And remember, Journey of Wrestling is on Steam, so make sure to go get it on Steam right now. And so yeah, comment down below what you think I should do for this save, how I can make TNA better, although I think I can do a pretty good job of that myself. Also, let me know what else you want to see on this channel. I, I know I do a lot of random stuff on here, but it's all pretty good stuff at the end of the day. Like the video, subscribe for more videos, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching.